Hello and welcome again to Educator and we are continuing with our amazing reading comprehension course and now we're actually going to get an introduction to reading nonfiction. So the lesson overview is going to be very simple. First, why read nonfiction at all? I mean, are, isn't fiction just more fun and isn't that going to be everything we need to know for SATs and other placement tests? Well, not exactly. And what's the difference between being well-read and widely read? Those are two very different things, and it turns out we kind of need to do both, but eventually we want to be well-read, not just widely read. Believe it or not, reading is an interactive experience. You wouldn't normally think of it that way, but it is. And we'll end with a preview of the next couple of lessons. So, why read nonfiction? Well, believe it or not, we still got placement tests ahead of us, right? Well, that means college entrance, that means getting into maybe a private high school or doing those other things. We absolutely need to be reading nonfiction. Now, some people might be thinking, well, yes, we know the tricks to pass those tests already. We have our test-taking skills and we understand how to read a long passage and then just look at the four options and we can do our tricks and get the right answer. Yes, there are tricks. You do need to know the tricks in order to do well on those tests, but that's kind of like hopping on one leg. You're going to need to be very, very well read in order to understand those long passages and short passages as well. So, reading nonfiction is going to be like practice for you. Yes, you do need the tricks, but you can't have only the tricks. How about getting through high school better? I mean, at the start of this lesson, I realized probably most of you are high school freshmen and you're in a new place, in a new school, and it's, you don't, may not want to admit it, but yeah, it's probably a little scary and probably a little weird. Turns out that you can actually learn to navigate your social life by doing something that's stereotypically antisocial. Nobody is born with a complete set of social skills, and often we have to turn to books, literature, YouTube, to figure out kind of what we need to do in order to navigate that. By the time you're out of high school, you'll probably have had your first job. And looking for a job is one of the hardest skills ever. Believe me, we've all been there. Especially now in the last 10 years when it's getting harder and harder to find an entry-level job in just about anything. There are techniques to get a job, to pass an interview, to do well. And if you've never heard of those, chances are nonfiction is probably one of the best places to go. Maybe you're thinking ahead to college and you're not sure what your major is yet. Well, I hope that you are going to be very widely read soon and have picked maybe a couple nonfiction books about subjects that you've maybe never heard of or jobs you've never thought about. I'll give you kind of an idea to just fish around and think about maybe what you'd want to be doing by the time you're 25, 26.